Hello there. In this video, we will add our Redux value to our app and also update the value using Redux. We already have today is looking good on the weather page, but now we will add the name of the user to that heading. First, we will need curly braces in our JSX code. Any JavaScript can be written inside these curly braces. Next, we will use deconstructuring to get the name from Redux. By saying const user info is equal to props and then receive props as a parameter in our weather component. Note that the initial Redux state and the actions have been mapped to props, so we can access these values through props. Line 9 is also the same as saying const user info is equal to props to user info. Now we will add the name, which is under user info, to the heading. If we save and go back to the web page, you will see today is looking good for guest. Now let's make an input and a button to update the name value. We will type in a name and submit it to Redux, and Redux will make it the new name value. As you recall, setInfo is the function that changes the name in Redux. We will call setInfo and feed it a name when the button is clicked. For now, we will give it name as the new name. In our input, we will add an onChange method that will update the value of the input area and will also save the value typed into the input box. To do this, we require the useState method. This is a default method provided by React that allows you to create local states for functional components. It does not work in class components. Class components have a different way of creating and managing state. Next, we create a value and a function that updates the value. We will call them name and set name, and they will be enclosed inside square brackets and we will set them equal to use state and the state will be initialized as an empty string which means the initial value of name will be an empty string. Note that name is the value and set name is the function that sets the value. So whenever we type an input we will update the value of name with the value typed. On change we'll invoke a function that takes the event as a parameter. The event will hold the typed in value of the input box. At the same time, we also set the value of the input as name. So it's like a cycle where the input box updates name and displays name at the same time. I'm going to move the input below the nav bar. So, testing out the form, I will type in John and submit. You will see the name on the header is now John. Also, looking at the Redux state, the name has been updated to John. Taking it from the top. We imported useState from React to manage our component's local state. useState is shipped with React and Next.js is really just a version of React, so we still have access to all React functions. The name and set name can actually be named to anything at all. Just know that the former is the value and the latter is the modifier of the former. We can also initialize it as guest, which will cause the input box to show guest when the page loads, as the input box always shows the value of name. Then we create the input box, which gets its value from name, and it also updates the name in the local state. After uploading it, 
it displays the name value. It all happens very fast. And it is invoked by the onChange method. The E gives us access to the value in the input box, and we use E.target.value to pass the string into setName. When we make a button that sends the value of name to the Redux set info method, this is triggered when you click the submit button. The set info method in Redux will send an action called set name to the reducer and the value of the name will be sent as a payload. The value is the same value it receives from the weather component. The reducer sets the name to the payload it receives from the action and the component gets updated automatically to the latest name held in the reducer, hence the map state to props. This name will be the same across the app as long as it is being fetched from Redux. Take your time to go over the Redux content and try to understand the flow. The flow is the most important part. All else will sink in with time. Thanks for watching this video. Let's do this again in the next one.